Hey there, are you looking to figure out how to add a logo to your brand page in BigCommerce? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Before we get started, my name is Cal. I'm a developer and a store owner just like you. And let me share my screen and I'll show you where to do this. Okay, so what we're talking about here specifically is the brand page. Now, some people confuse, you know, actual brand pages in BigCommerce with categories that are named after brands. But what I'm talking about is specifically the brand pages, which is a different type of page than a category page, but is very similar. On your product page, BigCommerce gives you the ability to list the brand name for a product like this Epic Design Labs branded sponge or filter or something. Yeah, filter kit. And by default, it also makes this clickable. And so if you click this, it takes you to the brand page for that brand the Epic Design Labs brand of filters, which is not a brand of filters, that's my company, but um, this is the actual brand page on BigCommerce. And so it, it gives us the brand in text, but it doesn't give us the brand with a logo, right? And we're looking at the Roots theme, but this should work on really any theme, uh, including Cornerstone, which is the place you wanna build from. Let me show you where to add this. So if we go into the back end, we go to products, you can see that there's product categories, options, filtering, reviews, brands right here. So if you click into brands, you're gonna see all of the brands listed. And every time you create a new product, anytime you create a product with a brand that hasn't been created previously, when you tell it this product is Epic Design Labs brand, it's automatically gonna create this brand for you, which is really nice. So to add the image, you just click into it and you can see there's a bunch of meta keywords here, meta title, meta keywords, description, all that kind of stuff for it. Um, and then here's brand image right here. And so all we have to do is take the image that we want to put in there. I'm going to put in this image right here and click save. And so that'll upload it and attach that image to that brand. Okay, so if we go back to the brand page, which I'm still on in this tab, and just refresh it, boom, there's our logo. Um, now you may want to, you may initially think I want to remove this, but keep in mind that this text here is your H1 for the page. So this is good for SEO. Um, so I would leave the text on the page, but adding an image is just really, really nice. Uh, you can build the pages out further, but you know, for the purpose of this video, that's how you put your logo in it. And I hope that helps you guys out. If it does, give me a like on the video. And if you're new to e-commerce and just getting started, be sure to check out my course, uh, links below. And we have a free community that you guys can join at joinecommercegrowth.com. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.